Hey, Atiti fam, what's happening? So uh, we have a video from the Open Minded Christian show and uh, some of you guys have been sending me his videos through DMs, wanting me to react to his videos for a while now. So uh, he recently posted a video where he is apologizing to all Christians. So let's take a look guys and see what he has to say. Welcome, today I want to use this medium to apologize to all Christians all over the world. I know that uh, in recent times my channel has been noticed by many people the strong enclave of Christendom and this have raised a lot of dust. Some of them say I'm not a Christian, some say I am fake, some say um, I'm just a Muslim masquerading under the name of a <laughs> Christian. Some even doubt to me too. my seminary background, some even doubt my Christian background and a whole lot of other doubt that you know comes with you know looking at my channel and what i do on the channel yes i have to say it clearly here that uh perhaps if you go to the channel the first thing that will greet you is i mean you know this islamic win most of my videos are islamic and it wasn't a pre-planned activity yeah if you look at it from the beginning of when i started to react to islamic video it was somewhat spontaneous because when I started, I wanted to mock Islam. When I started oh, reacting really? to Islamic videos, it wasn't really for me to, you know, keep um, keep up with Islam. Though I got surprised along the way, I was surprised because I was deep in philosophy and theology of the Catholic Church before I had anything to do with Islam. When I say I am deep in philosophy and um, theology of the Catholic Church, I mean that. I was a seminarian. When I saw a seminarian, I mean it with every word of it. Sometimes, you know, because of the situation in some people's life, you might really not agree with what is currently happening to their life. It was quite difficult for you to swallow that I was a Catholic seminarian, a deep Catholic seminarian in Hungary for years. Oh, I even really? attended the Pazmani Pithis Catholic University in Hungary as part of my training process. So I can tell you and show you evidence that, you know, caught across all sector of the proof that I was a seminary. And in the seminary, I learned philosophy for a, for a very long time. At least for six years, I was studying philosophy and studied, you know, theology for two years before I had issues. They're not exclusively do with doctrine. This problem I had has to also do with moral and it's better for me to find myself outside the seminary than to languish in the seminary in the, in the, in the name of obedience and then lose my soul. That was my calculation. That's the reason why I kicked myself out of the seminary. It all depends okay. on how you want to, you know, say it. But then we have to look at it from a very clearer perspective. The fact that I decided, you know, to live seminary doesn't really mean that i've left christianity but right now i cannot assure you that i'm still a christian so the reason why i'm making this apology is to tell all my christian friends that i am no more a christian i can't identify as a christian no more mm. i've made this decision is a final decision it's a strong heart decision that that has taken me months to make i'm not a muslim either but I've decided to stay neutral. with my neutrality. Stay I'll neutral. be able to uh -huh. see from both sides on a clear plane yeah. and then take my decision in the coming months. If it's going to take me a year to make that uh, on neutral decision, I'm going to be patient and keep studying and working. What I need from everybody here, both Christian and Muslim, is your support if you think what i'm doing is wrong you can pray for me and ask god to direct me because i have prayed and the more i pray the more i come to islam so what is that thing pointing to maybe the holy spirit is pointing to the fact that i should go to see what is in islam that's basically what is happening to me well, this apology is very, very short and I know that anyone who's interested in knowing what is here should really enjoy himself. I'm sorry, I'm no more a Christian. I am now neutral. I will soon change the name of my channel from being open-minded to being neutral and then maybe to something else. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, that's the message I have for every of you. Until next time. 
All right, so it looks like he's gonna be changing his channel name. But bro, why you? You don't need to apologize, man. This is your journey. This is this is your life. You know, um, there's n honestly no reason to have to apologize or try to justify who you are to other people. Because the thing is, pe people just make assumptions. They, they, they don't know you. And I, I, like, I hear the comments all the time too, you know? Uh, you, you're just a closet Muslim. And you're just pretending to be Christian so you can uh, deceive people. Listen, I get all those stuff too. I get it. I understand it. Absolutely don't need to apologize to no one for doing you and doing what you feel is in your heart. If you feel God is guiding you to Islam, Go study that thing, you know? Similar situations though, but I didn't go as far as he went when it comes to uh, studying in the seminary. This is like when they're teaching you to become a leader uh, in the church. And uh, Catholicism uh, is a different uh, denomination of Christianity. I grew up in the Seventh-day Adventist Christian church, so it's a Protestant denomination. So a little bit different. I, I never went that far into studying in the seminary, but I had a, a lot of private uh, uh, studies as well. I got very familiar with the Bible, studied it with uh, friends, family, and just uh, my own self. So very, very, very acquainted with Christianity and the biblical lingo and a lot of the teachings and everything in Christianity but uh, several years ago I also just took a step back and said all right let me take a neutral stance and I went through a lot of uh, you know personal development I looked at uh, ontology which is the science of being and various different philosophies and uh, became open to also learning about Islam as well so uh, over time, I was like, well, I can't actually identify as a Christian. So, bro, I get that transition. I honestly get it. And, you know, I think it would actually be cool to have a conversation uh, with him. Like, what, what do you guys think? Um, we're kind of in the same boat, really. Um, he may have different motivations for why he does his videos. It seems like he has a, a real longing for... Uh, a deep spiritual connection and wants to to speak and and share that with people and impact them especially if you took it to, as far as going to the seminary that means that you really want to take your spirituality and your religion and help uh, spread that to people and so that they grow up in that you know so I can hear it in his voice I can see it in his eyes uh, he has a very very clear crisp voice so it's really like you know those preachers that like get deep into the sermons you know so i really like his his voice actually but yeah what i'm saying is that uh we're in similar shoes here his motivation may be a little bit different uh for me i i take more of a neutral stance really to help uh empower other people to embrace their faith and empower them to share their faith openly and also empower people to hear someone else's belief openly and understand it and get where they're coming from in efforts to build bridges between people and not using religion as like a force field to shun or discriminate or to brutalize other people so you know i have a little bit of uh, that motivation as well too um, but again, his motivation may be a little bit different than that. So I, it would be great, I think, to have a, a conversation. So guys, let me know what you think. Uh, would you want to see a video with me and uh, Open Minded Christian Show just talking about like our beliefs, our transitions from Christianity and like where we are now, where we're going to go? Let, let me know what you think uh, about that. I think it would be interesting, but uh, I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say and uh, only do it if uh, if it's something that you guys want to see and want to hear and i think it'll be beneficial though but yeah let me know down below all right guys that's it for me in this one hopefully you enjoyed it leave a like if you did and i'll catch you in the next one later